Hey everybody, welcome back to the Daly Society. I have Meg running around at the backyard here with me today. It's actually uh, quiet at the moment. There's a lot of bird life out here. I wanted to bring you outside while it's not raining, it's not windy, because I have a big episode all about one of my favorite fabrics to sew with, and that is Ponty. And I have got a list compiled of all my favorite patterns to make with Ponty. I'm gonna explain a little bit about the origins of Ponty and how it's made and what it actually is, and talk you through a few of my plans, things that I wanna make with Ponty. So if you don't know this channel, uh, my name's Kristen. This is the Daly Society and we talk about sewing your own dream wardrobe. I also have an online fabric store as well here in Melbourne in Australia. So I am here to hopefully give you some inspiration. Today I am wearing a new me made here. It is the Stylark Logan jacket and it is with the uh, beautiful chestnut wool flannel here that I do have in the store and I have it on with these really cute little um, Pigeon Wishes buttons as well. These are so pretty, but yeah, the, the buttons from Pigeon Wishes are just gorgeous. So not wearing ponty today, but it's a bit chilly out here, but it's perfect for rugging up in this uh, nice chilly weather. Now, what actually is ponty or ponty deroma? Now, ponty is actually a double knit fabric. It is, well, ponty deroma means Roman bridge. And the reason they've given it that name is because of the double knit or twin needle weave. The way it's woven, it's quite a stable knit as well. It's actually quite thick. You can actually have it in a medium or heavy weight. There's a lot of different uh, weights of ponties. Uh, you really won't find a lightweight ponty. And ponty is usually made up of a rayon poly spandex blend. It can also be a cotton poly spandex blend. Well, the rayon viscose blend is the most popular one. And um, they really can vary in quality as well. And I know in the past I have purchased um, ponties that seem quite heavy and quite um, stiff structure and they don't have a lot of fluid draping them at all. A nice ponty will have a little bit of softness and drape, but you can actually get yeah medium or heavy weight ponties. It really depends what you want to make with it, but predominantly it's a double knit fabric. Um, it's usually um, two or four way stretch. Most of the time it's a four way stretch and the percentage of stretch is normally around 30 to 40 percent. You can get a bit higher stretch but normally it's around that middle range and it does hold its shape really beautifully as well. And the thing about Ponty that makes it different to other knits is the weight of it. It is a bit heavier than a regular um, jersey knit or sweater knit. So a Ponty is a more tightly woven knit and that thereby will give that name a stable knit. Meg is uh, very keenly running around after birds out here. Uh, yeah, they tend to torment her a little bit and she would just keep falling for them, won't you, Meg? Uh, we do have a lot of cockatoos flying over here today. So yeah, she's... Uh, Quite entertained by that. Come up here, Meg. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Come on. So she's my beautiful chocolate and white border collie. I know a lot of you guys saw her running around the background of the uh, last vlog that I did. And yeah, she's my pride and joy, aren't you, Meggie? Funny because uh, the cats tend to boss her around quite a bit. Um, the new kitten, of course, and her are getting along really, really well. It's funny, isn't it? How they just tend to take to certain cats, but the old Burmese uh, boy, he just, no, he is in control of everyone. <laughs> So a moderate stretch is around 30 to 40% stretch and the weight around most ponties you'll find is around a 300 GSM. So they're a really nice weight to sew with. They don't take a lot of care. You can actually uh, wash them. Uh, I usually use a cool wash and I will hang mine to dry. I have seen uh, a lot of people on the internet saying that they will give it a, a wash the first time they wash it and put it in a tumble dry. Um, to shrink it up a bit. I, I don't do that, but I think a lot of people have said that with the viscose, um, yeah, it'll shrink up a bit first wash, but um, yeah, I haven't found any of mine shrunk really at all. Um, they, they are really, really easy to care for and I'll definitely just hang them on to dry. Um, with ironing, of course, you can steam them quite happily. Um, I always use a rajah cloth over my ponties because I don't want to leave any steam uh, iron marks, but you could definitely do that. So it's really quite easy to care for. I would highly suggest using a stretch needle or a ballpoint needle when you're sewing. That way um, you'll tend to not catch it as easily, but I found it really great to sew with. And don't forget, you can use things like Mariflex thread now for anything uh, stretch 
sewing with a straight stitch. You don't need to use a zigzag for that, but I find most ponty, most of the time sewing ponty, I'll use the overlock or serger and it sews up like a dream. The great thing about sewing with ponty is that you get a beautiful fit. If you uh, wanted to make something form fitting, it's great to wear against the body, it gives that nice kind of uh, fit, but with that nice bit of structure. So it's not a really um, see-through kind of drapey knit, which a lot of knits are. So if you're wanting something like a pencil skirt or a shift, type dress, Ponty is fantastic for that. And a great thing about Ponty's of course is there's no fraying. So you can actually cut that edge and it will stay as it is, it won't come apart. Um, so you won't need to overlock all the edges. So really great if you want a reversible style jacket. Any of those patterns that you'll find things like boiled wool that you need, uh, patterns that won't fray. Boiled wools are great, but also Ponty will do the exact same thing. You won't find any of that fraying on the edges. And I'm gonna show you a couple of samples here I've got of uh, Ponty. This Viscose Ponty is one of the ones in my store. It's the Azua Mermaid. Um, you'll see it has a really nice stretch either way. And it also has a really nice drape. And that colour is one that I made in a dress that I love, the Fit and Flare Pattern Emporium dress. And you'll see how it gives not only that bit of stability and good weight, but it also has a really nice soft drape and softness as well. So you'll find the viscose uh, is a lot drapier than say a cotton based. Um, they are very similar in texture. They're very hard to tell apart, but the viscose one will have a little bit more drape. And these are some of the other colours I have in the store. There's a really nice chartreuse colour and I've got the gorgeous um, Shiraz kind of colour and also the lipstick colour. You'll see the difference in the colours. Let's talk a bit about patterns and what I love making with Ponty. Things are some things I've made on these lists and other things there on to make lists, so things that I'd like to make in the future. Um, so talking about jackets firstly now the great thing about a ponty is it will give you a look of a structured jacket but it will be comfortable like a knit so it's going to it's going to move with the body you won't really have to worry about things like lining it it'll still give you that look um that sort of professional or structured look that you're after but you'll have that comfort level so yeah they're, they're great they're a win-win so if you love being comfortable and you love wearing knits but you want to look polished, I think a ponty is fantastic. These are the blazers that I'm thinking of that will look great in a ponty, and that is any kind of ponty, any weight you'd like. Um, the first one is the Love Notions Metro Blazer. This is a really popular blazer pattern with a really nice asymmetric front. That is one that I have on my to make list and I've already had the pattern printed out. I love that you can wear that with a pair of jeans or over a dress or even with a pair of straight leg ponty pants um yeah there's a lot of different um ways you can wear that and style it and there's a couple of different versions as well so as always love nations patterns are great they have great instructions and they always really fit well so i'm thinking about making one of those in this beautiful color i think it'll be a fantastic little essential to the wardrobe it'll look have that blazery effect but it's also going to have that nice soft uh waterfall front effect which i love as well now the next one is another make on my make list and it's called the Fulton Sweater by Alina Patterns. Now this is a really lovely um, ponty blazer style jacket. You can make it in either the short or the long length. I love that kind of little cutout notch at the neckline. I love the details with the pockets. I think that would look spectacular and I would love to make that in the chartreuse colour. I've already picked out the colours of the things I want to make. I think that looks like a brilliant pattern. I've seen a lot of different versions of that. Uh, the only thing with that one is the size range. I think only goes up to about an 18, so not as extensive in the size range, which is a bit disappointing. But I'm really eager to try that and see how it looks. If you're after more of a bomber style jacket, the Ali Olsen Monarch jacket looks fantastic, specifically made for knits and for ponty. You can pop little press studs on it if you don't want to do things like buttons. And it looks like a really practical, handy little uh, jacket, that one. So that uh, looks like a great pattern. The other one that I have made in the past is the So To Grow Kaya. Now that one you can make it either a boiled wool or a ponty. Uh, that is a great little blazer. As I said before, uh, I've made it last year in the boiled wool, more of a structured kind of knit. Definitely would work perfectly for ponties and it has that real classic style little um, jacket. Uh, yeah, and also the Alistair jacket from uh, So To Grow is a fully reversible jacket. It's great in things like boiled wools or in ponties 
and it's also great because it's yeah as I say it's um you can see the inside because of the way the lapel folds out so you really want to keep something with that fabric the same color or you can get double-sided knit ponties they're very rare to find but something like that would be fantastic for the Alliston jacket uh, for sew to grow patterns now style art patterns are very uh, big on ponty they have so many fantastic ponty patterns they've got quite a few jackets I will make sure I'll link all the patterns below in the description box that I talk about here today. And I always have people asking me um, if I know whatever I'm wearing. It's all linked in that description box. You just need to, to do the drop down and you'll find everything linked there and it'll be really easy for you to follow. A lot of these patterns also are in the online store, the patterns that I do stock. So that way, if you're wanting a paper pattern, it's very easy to order it that way. Uh, the Stylark Estelle jacket is a fantastic one. That comes in two separate size ranges. Most Stylark patterns you'll see now are the layered 10 to 22 size, but some Stylark patterns are still not converted over and you'll either have the 0 to 18, I think it is, and then the 18 to 30. So make sure you check for your sizes of that. Um, the waterfall effect, of course, is just beautiful in that. Love that long lined floaty looking and it's yeah, fantastic and ponty. If you're wanting more of a blazer style jacket, the Lauren is another fantastic style like uh, jacket pattern. You can make in a variety of fabrics, but specifically looks great in Ponty. And you've also got the Marnie jacket, which is also another one great for Ponty fabric. Another great pattern we just got in this week, and that was, this is totally on recommendation of it being a beautiful looking uh, long line Coatigan look. This is the Esme from Named. It has a really lovely structured look to it, like a very dressy cardigan with the, the way the pockets are designed kind of on the seam line. They're like hidden within the seam and they just look spectacular. So that one I've heard is fantastic and I'd love to make that one. And it's perfect for things like double knits and ponties. And I've just got a new range of Tazuni patterns in. Of course, these are fantastic. A lot of these patterns for boil wool or ponty. The ponty, uh, the ones I'm thinking of that will look fantastic. One is the Berlin jacket, which I've made in the past in boil wool, but beautiful in a ponty because of that raw edge. Also the Brooklyn and the Sydney. The Sydney is the short sleeve floaty again, that waterfall effect. So these are all fantastic in ponties and just so nice and classy looking. You want that layered effect. And ponty, of course, not being an overly heavy fabric, like a, like a heavy coating, it'll still give you that nice layered effect. So that one's a really nice pattern. They're all great. Aren't you, Zuti patterns? They're really good instructions. There's also the So Different Biker Jacket. A lot of the So Different patterns are great for ponties. And a lot of them that are made for woven fabrics, you'll see on the listing of the fabric uh, recommendations, a lot of them do say Ponty as well, which is always wonderful. Last year, I actually made a few Ponty cardigans for the Reconnect Cardi uh, pattern that was released from Pattern Emporium. I made a black viscose in the Reconnect cardigan and I didn't put any buttons on. I've left it almost like a long line jacket to pop on over a dress and it's a really handy layering piece. Um, that one looks really lovely and I'll put some pics up so you can see this in there's a couple other fabrics I've made it one in a double knit leopard print it's a fantastic pattern long line cardigan or jacket you can really dress it up or down depending on what you wear it with and it looks beautiful over a shift dress as well so I highly recommend that now we're going to talk about pants because people do love uh, the fact that ponty pants give you that kind of dressy look a stable knit and so comfortable to wear but really really practical in the wardrobe uh, the first one is a style like Parker Ponty Pants. They are in the online store as well if you're interested. Um, a lot of people have recommended these pants. I haven't made them yet um, and, and have said how wonderful they are to make and to wear. Uh, then you've got, if you're after a wide leg style pant, the Patton Emporium Palazzo Pants. That's the knit version. Uh, that um, Patton Emporium also have the uh, Vacation Vides Palazzo. That's the woven pattern. But the regular knit pattern is just a regular Palazzo Pants. And I'd highly recommend a viscose ponty for that because of that beautiful drape. You can go for the dramatic wide leg or the regular wide leg. So that's a fantastic pattern with a nice high waist and a thick elastic band. There's also Tazudu who have got the Anita uh, ponty pants, which look very classic and comfortable. And the Avalon wide leg pants, both of those uh, look really, really comfortable. Um, also a popular pattern from Love Notions is the Sabrina Slims. I've heard really great things about these pants as well. So they'd be wonderful. You've got lots of different options with things like seams and pockets. So if you would prefer to make 
ponty rather than go down the stretch denim um, or the stretch woven. Um, ponty would be fantastic for that. You've got the Sinclair Metro pants. It's another fantastic pattern you can make in a stretch denim or a ponty as well. Gives you lots of different uh, options there too. So there's a quite a few pant patterns that I am interested in looking at. Um, as well as that, I know people have made the Deer and Doe uh, Sirocco jumpsuit in a lightweight or viscose ponty. That one looks wonderful too. And there's also a Starlark Bryce jumpsuit pattern that is either in a dress or a jumpsuit. And I think that would be just beautiful in a nice ponty as well. Onto skirts. And of course, I've got a favourite um, Tazuti skirt pattern that is the Mahalia skirt, which I do stock in the store. It is beautiful, lovely, A line, really simple classic uh, skirt. Fantastic to have that in the wardrobe because it just about goes with everything. And I love the way that Colette has styled it with that balloon sleeve top and boots. It's just a beautiful classic style. And that uh, again is beautiful, just about any weight of Ponty. Um, really, really nice and comfortable, but you feel really put together in it. Now, there is also um, skirts. There's a new pattern released by Starlight this week. There's a top and skirt pattern. I think it's called the Yo-Yo Set. That's a really nice pencil uh, style skirt. It can be made in Ponty as well. Uh, you've also got the Starlark Rita skirt, which is a popular one, and the Ursula skirt too. So they have many Ponty patterns over on Starlark. Pattern Emporium, you have the Heartlight skirt, which is again a long A-line style skirt that looks beautiful in a ponty. And the one that really stood out to me was the Love Notions Sybil Illusion skirt. There is seven versions in this pattern, uh, a lot of different versions with wrap front style, um, A-line pencil skirt. Yeah, you've got a lot of different options to, to make in that one pattern, which is fantastic. I do love uh, a nice skirt and top combo. There's also the So House 7 Free pattern, which is the elemental skirt, uh, which is a nice shaped long line pencil skirt with that kind of lovely shaping throughout the hip as well. Um, that looks fantastic with the Cosmos sweater as a set, which you can definitely make both of those in Ponty. Now moving on to Ponty tops, I noticed that there's a lot of, um, of, of sets around at the moment. You, they're so fantastic because you can you know, mix and match them back through the wardrobe. Sometimes it's handy to do that instead of making a dress. So a top and skirt mix can be really great uh, for being versatile options for the wardrobe. So the, yeah, the Starlight Yo-Yo knit top is a new one that I've just discussed before. You've also got the Starlight Madeline Ponty top. And it's, a, it's a sleeveless style Ponty top with a beautiful um, gathered kind of wrap detail. I have seen that one uh, worn with a lovely skirt for a summer um, look. It looks fantastic and it's a really quite a simple pattern but it gives you that beautiful shape and it's made specifically for Ponty, which is great. Uh, another one that looks great in Ponty is the Sew Over It Audrey top with that beautiful little bow. That is a really classy looking little, um, almost like a 50s kind of style top, which I think has been very popular for quite some time now. After a peplum style top, which always looks beautiful with a straight line pencil skirt, the Love Notions Margot peplum is fantastic. It's got beautiful princess seaming throughout to give you that nice shape and that little fluted um, bit at the hem there so that looks lovely in a ponty and it's a really classy look to have yeah that that skirt and top together if you're opting for that instead of a dress and moving on to dresses my favorite topic because there's so many ponty dresses out there and they always look wonderful you can match them back with a pair of boots for winter or some heels or sandals for summer I love the fact that you can make a lot of um, shift dresses in a nice knit to give you that lovely silhouette lovely shape I'm going to talk about some of the ones I've got here so I've talked about the um Pattern Emporium A-Line Fit and Flare. That is so perfect for Ponty. If you haven't made that, put some pics up so you can see. It is a great staple for the wardrobe because of all the variations. It gives a beautiful shape. Um, I added the Meet You There puff sleeve onto mine, but I've seen that done in just a simple long sleeve. You can change the necklines. Kate always gives a lot of options there for different necklines, and it is just totally worth making and adding to the pattern stash. So love a good fit and flare dress. Starlark of course have got the Melba dress that is specifically made for Ponty and I have made one in the past although the pink one that I made I'll put picks up I loved it it was just the most stiff cardboardy feeling Ponty that I purchased I think it was from 
spotlight maybe three or four years ago and it was just too heavy and it would be beautiful made with a nice quality uh, viscose or cotton ponte. Yeah, just that bit soft, it would have been perfect. But such a fabulous dress with those seam details and in the back it's got that nice yoke detail. It's a real modern um, style dress. You can totally recommend making that. I loved it. Um, the Alley Designer dress is another one that I've had printed off in the stash for. I never made it, but it looks beautiful because of that asymmetric kind of skirt, that really lovely detail skirt. Um, it would look gorgeous in a, in a simple black for the wardrobe. But from what I've heard and what I've seen, a lot of people have said it's beautiful um, to wear and make, makes up really lovely in a ponte. The uh, Starlight Serena knit dress is another one that looks fabulous too. There's so many Starlight Ponty patterns. And I think if you head over to their website and just type in Ponty in the search bar, you'll see all the different patterns that they specifically have made with Ponty in mind. They're great fans of Ponty and it's just so comfortable. Um, the Pattern Emporium Going Places dress, that's another one I've made in the past before. I have got a simple black one of that as well. I made this a couple of years ago now, and again, the Ponty wasn't the greatest quality, but it has got a really nice, simple, structured, pencil looking dress with the lower back and the thicker straps, specifically if you want to hide a brass strap. That's a fabulous pattern on, and I love it with that square kind of rounded neck. Uh, again, you can do different lengths. I think it looked beautiful in a midi length as well. Um, of course, yeah, Pattern Emporium have got the same thing where you search in their search bar, Ponty, you'll find many different patterns that you can make with Ponty in the description. Also, the Entice Me dress uh, is also a lovely one made of a soft Ponty as well. Uh, you've got the Cashmere at Rivermont dress that I've seen made up in a Ponty. It also looks lovely. Um, there's also the Named Olivia. That one looks like a lovely wrap style pattern. I would definitely recommend a softer, lighter weight ponty for that, for giving that nice wrap detail. If you have too much structure and too heavy a ponty, you won't get that nice wrap effect. Now I've also heard that the Wardrobe By Me Asta dress makes a lovely dress up in a ponty, a soft ponty that is. It has a beautiful boat neck. It's a really simple bodice and a fit and flare style as well. And it just is the most simple classic style pattern. And you know, those sort of things never go out of style. They're always great for the wardrobe. And also the Marion dress from um, Wardrobe By Me, it doesn't specifically say ponty in the description, but I definitely would say it would look fantastic in a soft, lighter weight ponty or middleweight ponty as long as it's got that nice um, amount of stretch there. I think the stability would hold really well with the buttons and that collar would really sit nicely. So that's one I've been wanting to make for quite some time too. Uh, you've also got the designer stitch jasmine dress. Uh, that looks lovely in a ponty. And also one I've made in the past in a ponty double knit was the Stacy dress. And it has a really nice waist kind of wrap tie effect in the waist. It looks really lovely with that deep V and you can make it to any length you want. It's a very, um, bigger hugging style dress but one that looks amazing on I can highly recommend that pattern. Love Notions again um, is very popular for ponty patterns you've got the Olympia dress with that lovely deep v-neck and fit and flare style um, it's great with a little bit of drape as well. Another pattern that I've made in the past that I've loved on as well is the uh, itch to stitch savannah dress and the Savannah dress has a really lovely v-neck. It is perfect for a, a nice ponty, soft ponty. Um, and it's a really lovely, classy looking little dress here. One of my favorite dresses in the wardrobe. And just the color of this, it's just so simple. Um, that one is a double knit um, in a, like a crepey kind of double knit, but it would be perfect in a ponty as long as it's a soft ponty. It's also got a really great size range, um, inch to stitch patterns, I think up to a size 30. And one of their newer patterns I've seen Karina make is called the Tustin uh, dress with a beautiful uh, waist detail with its tie side. I love the look of that. I could definitely see myself making one of those. I think anything with a nice tied effect at the waist can really give you that lovely shape. A lot of great patterns on each to stitch for Ponty again, so lots to choose from there. Uh, then we've got a more summery style sleeveless dress, the Liesl & Co Marias dress or Marias dress. You can make that in a knit top or in the uh, dress as well. It has no zips or closures, a nice detailed bust area and just a simple dress that can be definitely made up with a Ponty and look fantastic. Uh, a couple of 
patterns from so different. I was talking earlier about how some patterns will, will state they're after a woven or a stable knit, and that is um, so different patterns. These are really popular patterns on my website, and they always sell out as soon as I get them in. The tulip dress from So Different has that beautiful kind of inverted pleat at the bust that gives you that nice shaping around the hip area. That one looks spectacular in Ponty and now you've got the added option of having the long sleeve as well with that. And also the Artista dress from So Different Patterns uh, with that gorgeous kind of funnel neck and pocket details. The smock style kind of shift dress looks amazing in Ponty as well. So I think it's all about definitely choosing the right um, weight of Ponty for those patterns. Uh, and the last dress I'm going to talk about is the Tazuti Frankie dress. Now, this is either a top or a dress. It's a stunning looking uh, dress, even though it's really simple. It's the boat neck and the way it falls from the bust line and the A-line shape in kind of a swingy style dress looks amazing in Ponty. I've made a top in that and a dress, and I really love that pattern on. So I think thing is um, there are so much that you can make I think it all depends on the weight of ponte you go for the, the drape that it has and as I say most of the time if you pick a, a, a sort of middle weight viscose or cotton ponte with that nice bit of little bit of movement and drape and, and a little bit of stretch it would, needs to have around 30 to 40 percent for most of those patterns anything too heavy um, just won't have that stretch element and it'll be quite tight and structured so you just need to find that middle ground and I just think it's best to if you can get into store and have a feel of Ponty's you'll, you'll get to, to know um, the amount of stretch they have they're not like a regular jersey um, they don't have that kind of stretch um, yeah usually around 30 to 40 percent either way but it's enough to give you that comfort and ease of wearing without worrying about things like zips and closures uh, it gives a beautiful look on the body for a form-fitting garment as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I've got heaps of things I want to make. It's, uh, those two blazer, the Metro blazer, the uh, from Love Notions, and that Alina Fulton sweater blazer. They're the two I want to make. And as well as that, I'd love to make some um, Sabrina Slims. And I think just pairing everything back and having those different separates will be great for the wardrobe for layering and wearing over some blouses heading into winter. Let me know in the comments below your favourite Ponty makes, things that you've made before that you know sew up really well that are comfortable, easy to make and easy to wear and things that you would definitely make again. I'd love to hear what they would be. Write in the comments below and share them because I know a lot of people do go ahead and read all the comments. And as I say, don't be scared of sewing with Ponty. There's so many tutorials online talking you through head on over to youtube to check out you know google in ponty ponty fabric you'll see um, people talking about sewing with it and because it's got that nice bit of weight and structure it's not going to shift and move around like a regular uh, drapier style knit would so it's great for a beginner that hasn't tackled knits before um, that is a bit sort of hesitant about uh, going for it i can highly recommend a ponty for that project I'd love a thumbs up today. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate that too. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful sewing week and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.